Hey yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Matthew Maley for MatthewMaley.com. Well, this is officially my last preview video for the NFL season, at least until next year. Um, I was going to do a recap video of the Pro Bowl um, as well as this preview for the Super Bowl, but I ended up not watching much of the Pro Bowl, had some stuff going on, and the parts that I did watch... Well, if you've been watching the news, you know how it's been received. Pro Bowl is pretty weak, honestly. Um, I, I just It sucks because I feel like there's potential there. I feel like there's potential to, to make the Pro Bowl good and entertaining and fun and something people want to watch. And I, I, I kind of do like having it now before the Super Bowl. The first year I hated it because then I was like, you're losing, you know, a good amount of players, and the two teams who make the Super Bowl are probably going to have a good amount of players because they're some of the better teams. So I really didn't like it when it first was re was announced it was going to be the week before the Super Bowl. But now I've kind of come around to it, and it does work on the build-up from the end of the playoffs to the Super Bowl. It has a nice little stepping stone in there. But there's just got to be something else. And I don't know if maybe it's like adding some skill competitions like they do in, in college, you know, all-star games or what, but... I just feel like it's missing something. and I, I mean, I did like what they did where they had uh, computers on the sidelines so people could uh, could tweet during the game, so the players could tweet during the game. I thought that that was kind of cool. Um, and I thought, you know, that, that a lot of the players played pretty well. I thought that that, with the exception of, sorry, Cam Newton, I think you had like three picks. Um, you know, again, defense isn't really played much, um, except when you start getting to the, like, the, the end of the third, beginning of the fourth quarter. We started getting some of the younger guys in there. But overall, it was just kind of an eh game. So I've already devoted enough time to it, honestly. But uh, there you go. So that brings us to the Super Bowl. And I'm excited, um, to be quite honest. It is Monday night right now. Um, so we've got six days until the Super Bowl. And I am quite excited. Um, I know I just said that. <laughs> overall, I'm really torn. Um... I really was planning on picking the Giants. They're looking so good coming in. They've just been hitting at the right time, to be quite honest. And it's like they're peaking, you know? It's like they're peaking when you're supposed to. And that's what people always talk about, like with fighters in, you know, MMA. You always say you want to make sure your training camp hits so that you peak right at fight night. And with the NFL, you doesn't matter what you do during the season. you got to peak right when you're hitting the playoffs, and the Giants have really done that. Um, granted, they needed help to get past the 49ers, but in the same sense, New England needed help to get past the Ravens. So, I think they're both about even in that regard, but I really think it's just going to come down to the Giants' defense. And I'm not so sure that the Giants are going to get many sacks, because I there's some stat that it's like, for one thing, the Patriots run... Like, 70% of their plays out of a two-tight end um, setup. And I believe it's something like they only gave up, like, 15, or no, five sacks all season or something. Like, 93% of dropbacks when they're in that setup, they don't give up sacks. It's something, something like that. I don't remember. But essentially, if they drop back, you know, in a, in a two-tight end package, you don't get sacks. So I don't actually think that they're going to give up many sacks. But I think Brady's going to constantly be getting pressure. I think he's going to constantly have somebody in his face. He's going to constantly be hurried. He's going to constantly be getting dropped to the ground. And I think at the end of the day, that's going to, going to favor the Giants. But what keeps getting to me is for every single person that keeps saying they're going to pick the Giants, from Stephen A. Smith to Mike and Mike hinting at it, it's just, I feel like Brady is just going to, He's just going to say, nah, not again. Brady has that ability. Brady's like Jordan in a lot of ways when it comes to his competitiveness and his just overall kind of assholey nature, um, partly because he's so good. But I just feel like there's just, uh, just something about him where he's just going to be like, this is for 2007. This is for you guys beating us in the regular season. And I just, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, so, I still haven't figured out who I'm picking yet, to be quite honest. I've been trying to go back and forth, trying to go back and forth, trying to go back and forth, and just can't do it. And 
I just, I could see it literally going either way. I could see it being, uh, I, I think it's going to be a pretty low scoring game. I think it's going to be a 24 to 21 type of game. But what kills me is that I believe it could be 24 21 for either team. I think Gotskowski could hit a kick at tied up 21 21 with three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Or I think Lawrence Tynes could kick a field goal with three seconds left in the fourth quarter and make it 24 21. So really, it's up in the air. Um, the overall, the over under is set at uh, 55.5 points right now. No, it started off at 55.5 and now it's down to 54.5, as well as the line opened at um, the Giants, the underdog, by three and a half points. Now it's two and a half. So I am thinking I'm going to bet the Giants now that I think about it, um, especially if I can get somebody who'll give me three and a half points. Um, not in terms of casino, but I mean, just anybody. There's enough Patriot fans out there. I'm thinking about hopping on that if I can find somebody who'll give me those uh, those odds. Because I, I really think it's going to be a field goal type of game. Um, I just... Uh, I'm taking the Giants. I'm doing it. I'm scared that I think I'm going to be wrong with this now. Because I think... Uh, maybe no, I'm going to take... No. I just feel like... Brady is just going to come out and just be like, I'm taking this. Like some schoolyard bully taking your damn lunch money. That's just what I see, but... <sighs> Jason Pierre, Paul, Justin Tuck. I'm taking the Giants. I don't care if everybody else is. They're the trendy pick. I'm taking them. 24-21. Giants will win. Last second field goal by Lawrence Tynes. Yeah, they just better not leave enough time on the clock for Brady to come back, because I'm sure he would. So that's what I'm predicting. I predict it's going to be a pretty slow first quarter. It's probably halftime is going to be 14 to seven. Uh, Patriots are going to be up. I think third quarter they end up making it 21 to 14. Patriots will be up. Uh, third quarter, fourth quarter, I think Eli scores a touchdown to make it 21-21. Then I think that the Giants are going to get a big defensive stand. Might even get an interception, fumble recovery, something like that. And they are going to lead it down. And with two minutes left, they're going to kick it. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm saying 239, 249, 249. I don't know why that just popped into my head. 249 in the fourth quarter, they're going to kick a field goal. So they're going to give Brady enough time. And Brady's going to march him probably, I think he's going to march him all the way down within field goal range. And then I think they're going to sack him to get him out of field goal, field goal range. That's what I'm picking. I don't know. We'll see. It's totally random. So that'd be awesome if it worked just like, that'd be so cool. So I feel like Nostradamus and could have used that for a lot of numbers. So anyway, there's my pick. 24-21. Giants are taking it. My opinion. Um... So, therefore, I am saying it is going to not hit. No, wait, 24 21. Yeah, that'll be 55. No, I'm a moron. Wow, that's 45 points. Derp. So, it is not going to hit the over. Fair enough. So, I'm, I'm taking the under and the Giants. There you go. We'll see what happens. It'll probably end up being like a 52 to 38 game, and the Patriots will win. That's how my season's been going. <laughs> so, anyway, just wanted to do a quick. Super Bowl, you know, preview. Um, some some good storylines going in, just in terms of the revenge factor, um, in terms of Gronk's ankle after the high ankle sprain. Um, but my boy Pollard from the Ravens, Patriot killer. How? I like doing a little Spartan shit there. Um, don't know why. God, I gotta get some sleep. But anyway, this is really coming off the rails. I just gotta turn this camera off apparently. But uh, definitely some, some good storyline. Um, ESPN's going crazy for the Super Bowl. It seems like each year they go a little bit more crazy. Um, and this year they're, they've got Mike and Mike, Sports Nation, First Take, Sports Center, NFL Live, NFL Matchups, and something else. Like It's like eight shows all filming live in Indianapolis. So uh, it should be pretty cool. Plus you've got all of the underlying issue of what Peyton gonna going to do. Being that it's an indie, is Eli going to win? 
take over, you know, Peyton, you know, numbers in terms of Peyton's championships. Who knows? There's lots of, there's lots of storylines. So I actually think it's going to be a pretty good game regardless, and I think there's going to be a lot of uh, storylines going into it. And, well, the only thing I'm confused about and don't really know how it's going to go is the halftime show. I'm not a Madonna fan at all. So that might be when I get up and walk away, but it would kind of fit the trend considering between the Rolling Stones, The Who, and uh, Bruce Springsteen. I don't think I've watched a, 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 pre or a halftime show in a while. I've tried. I'll give it a couple minutes, and it's like, done. Time to go refill on food. <laughs> so there you go. Hopefully you guys like the pick. Hopefully you guys like this train wreck of a video. I don't know what happened here. If I wasn't so tired, I'd probably just refilm it. But I'm not. You guys are getting the first and only one. So let me know what you guys think. Shout out to all my Giants fans out there. My boy D, uh, my homegirl Tracy. They're big Giants fans, so good luck to y'all. And really the only Patriots fan that I know of uh, is my homegirl JD. Shout out to her. Um, can't stand the Patriots, especially her shit she had to talk after my Ravens lost to them. But whatever. She's my homegirl, so really that's one of my only people that I know that like the Patriots, as well as Cal Colin Cowherd, but he's a douchebag, so whatever. But anyway, there you go. There's the uh, the preview video for the Super Bowl. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, let me know your picks. Who you got. And uh, if you're betting, let me know. I know a uh, uh, baby from uh, Cash Money he said he's going to put $5 million down in New England. Yeah, we'll see about that. Lil Wayne can only make you money for so long. Drizzy and, and, and Nicky can only make you money for so long. You buying them Bugattis, boy. Putting down that $5 million bet, you're going to be broke soon. Fake ass gangster. <laughs> Don't mind my hate. That's a little jealousy for his Bugatti and his Lambos and all that. But not his teeth or his head tats. Corny. So anyway, I really got to end this video. I have really digressed into the levels of I don't even know what. This video is that part of YouTube, apparently. <laughs> so, before it goes any more off the hinges... I'm out. Your boy Matthew Maley from MatthewMaley.com. Officially, my 2011-2012 season of the NFL's Super Bowl preview video, as well as my pick, Giants 24-21. There you go. So, till the actual game happens, um, I actually got another video coming up later this week for a weekly movie review, as well as a, uh, a trip to the movie review as well so I went and saw a couple flicks I wanted to uh, report about so until my next video I am officially signing off it's time to take my ass and get some sleep so I uh, hope everybody has a great super week as they're calling it leading up to the Super Bowl as well as an awesome Super Bowl if you guys are going to Super Bowl parties be safe do not drink and drive do not do drugs and drive people be smart enjoy it and uh, hopefully it's a great Super Bowl with some Great commercials and some great action. So, till the next video, your boy Matthew Maley signing off. As always, check out my videos on MatthewMaley.com. You can click on the video blog, check everything out. If you want to check them out on YouTube, double click. It'll send you over to YouTube. You can comment, like, subscribe on all my videos there on YouTube. If not, you can search me on YouTube, Matthew Maley Poker. Of course, search for your boy on Facebook. Then like the page, Matthew Maley Poker. And as always, follow me up on Twitter. I will be tweeting nonstop during the game up on commercials and all kinds of stuff. So you can like, or you can follow your boy at Matthew Maley up on Twitter. So till the next video, I am signing off. Peace out, y'all.